everyone and welcome to Sharpers Gaming and today we are finally back kids. We're finally back. Pokemon VGC 2018 once again. Uh, we did a team builder for this team earlier in the week and it took me forever to make this team because work right now is crazy. I'm working 12 hour days at least if not longer every single damn day. And this is going to be going on all month. So I'm going to do what I can when I can. This team is finally made, so it should be more frequent now. I should just be able to roll these out. I think we'll just use this team for the rest of the month. Get that out of the way. Give me a little time in between to make a new team. And uh, we'll see what we can do there. You can see the bags under my eyes. It's hard to see in this light, but like I've got like black bags under my eyes. Not like completely black, but they're dark. And it's just it's not good. It's not good, kids. I'm real tired. And I was actually going to go to sleep. Because I tried to record this earlier, and for some reason it was down for maintenance. It's not Monday. Monday's the day they do maintenance. For some reason it was down. I don't know. I don't understand. But anyway, we are here with the Kamo'o team. Like I said, we did do a team builder previously in the week for this team. So if you want to go check that out, be sure to go to the link in the description below. Speaking of links in the description, we have one for the paste bin and the QR code for this team. So if you want to try it out on either Pokemon Showdown or within your own Pokemon Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon. Go right ahead. It is down there to use. The last team got so many uses. Thank you guys so much for that. It really b bumped up our team builder score so I can uh, let more teams be used for you guys. Um, so the more you use them, the more teams I can put out for you at a time. But anyway, let's hop into this. And hopefully my tiredness does not get the best of us. So. It has been a while since I've played VGC. God, it's Probably since the last time you guys saw a video from me for VGC, so VGC. Um, we're sitting at 5 and 5 rating, apparently. A 5, 1509 rating. Uh, we're going up against a 1604 rating from Tokyo, Japan with, oh boy, what team is this? And why are you so high? It's a minimized team, that's why. It's a minimized team, that's why. There's Smeargle, Mega Sableye, I assume, for Magic Bounce, Carbink, Chansey with the Minimize. A lot of these things carry Psych up too, I'm assuming. You got Mr. Mime and Reuniclus. I could almost go Kamo'o to start off here. Does King's gonna have speed Smeargle? It's been so long, I don't remember any speed tiers, man. But I think we go Kanga and Como. Kanga, Como. I mean, Kaferi's also not terrible either, because we can do the redirecting, and then my opponent can't psych up, which is really neat. But we need Feeny for the Sableye, the Scableye. Um, and if my opponent... My opponent can't touch Heatran. Unless, like, Reuniclus has Focus Blast or something, but I'm going to go with Heatran. Sableye I could, too. Um, and then there might be, like, a random Hidden Power Ground or something, but... We have a pretty good chance with Heatran to wall them out. Because they can't Toxic us, which is one of the ways that this team wins is through Toxic Stalling. So we remove one of those ways when we use Heatran. So we're going to go Kangaskhan. Kamo'o, oh, two really big threats for the Chansey. Plus we have that Fake Out support. We do see Smeargle Carbink lead off for my opponent. I don't know what Carbink wants to do necessarily. I do not know that. But we are going to Mega Evolve with the Kanga and fake out the Smeargle. We are scrappy Kangaskhan, so we won't be able to do the uh, um, the Inner Focus attack. We have to go, because Inner Focus can't be flinched. But I want Scrappy, so I can hit Ghost Types. But we're going to go Kanga Slow Blaze. It's not going to hit the Carbink, but it does hit the Smeargle. We just have to outspeed the Smeargle. I believe Mega Kangaskhan outspeeds Smeargle. I could be 100% wrong on that. Because Smear Smeargle might be more in the base 100. I can't remember. Oh, it Baneful Bunkered. So it's... Yeah, so there's some kind of poison going on there to begin with. Oh, does that mean I don't get my Clanger... No, wait. Clanger Slow Blaze will go through the Protect. So we should be fine. I do unfortunately poison myself with the Kangaskhan, but whatever. Whatever, mate. Hit him up. I love the Dragonium Z <laughs> dance. It's so cool. Or I have to open more wider than that, but... I want to, like, make room behind me so I can actually stand up and do that, but my bed's directly behind me, so it's a little hard. But we still get it off. Oh, no! I gotta change this! Uh, I just switched it to Zeta! Oop! Uh, I, f I completely forgot. This is, uh, censored. So hopefully just that little bit wasn't enough for you, uh, wasn't enough for, um, the video to be taken down, because that'd really suck. But yeah, I have to make a... I forgot, I have to make another layout that goes over the top of... Um, 
this. So like you can still see it, but it's not getting claimed. So that you'll just have the word censored across the screen, and then that that's enough to make it so you don't get uh, claimed for it. But yeah, we get our boost, Smeargle. Oh no, Smeargle got the speed boost. God, I hate Smeargle because it's such like luck of the draw kind of thing. If you're gonna end up getting the right thing. I just got so many notifications. Discord is going to make me so annoyed with that kind of stuff. But anyway, I'm going to locate this Smeargle and protect my Komo'o. I'm going to hope that he thinks Komo'o is the problem and go after that. So I'm going to protect that thing right now. Smeargle is going to follow me. Perfect. I mean, that's what I'm hitting, dude. Go right for it. I don't know what the Carbink's going to want to do is my only thing. Low kick will KO Smeargle, no problem. And then what does Carbink do? Trick Room. Alright. I could have got off a close combat on the car bank, which is what I was going to do. But that does... I mean, we, it would bring us back to neutral for our defenses. And I don't think it will KO a car bank, unfortunately. There is a chancey, though. I'm killing that thing right now. Um... I'm just what do we do to this car bank is my thing. I think I can just switch out Kanga here. I mean, I could double Ninchancy, but as long as Komo'o hits, it should be fine. I'm going to go in Heatran, I guess. Yeah, I, just, like, I don't know what I want to do with Kangaskhan. I'm just going to close combat the Chansey. It is under Trick Room, so it's going to be moving first, but it should only get off one. Minimize. Guard Split. So it's going to give Chansey some of its defense. I mean, that's still not enough to a plus one Komo'o. Yeah, there's the Minimize. There's the Minimize. So Komo'o, you just have to hit this, my dude. Broke my fingernail today. It hurts so bad. Oh my god, here it goes. It's going to be getting up more and more now. I'm just going to Flash Cannon the Carbink. And again, close combat into the Chansey. As soon as we hit that thing, it's dead. Okay, it's an Explosion Carbink. I don't know how that helps you in the slightest. I'm a plus one defense combo. Oh, yeah, it does absolutely nothing to me, and you hit your own Chansey. That did nothing to Chansey. I suppose it's a carving. Chansey gets another minimize off. Again, if combo oh hits once, it's dead. Of course we don't. Um, so it just depends on what the last Pokemon is. I don't think he can touch Heatran. Reuniclus. I don't want to waste too much of my time because I assume my opponent's going to uh, want to rely on that. There's one more turn of Trick Room. Uh, so I am just going to Flash Cannon the Reuniclus and Close Combat the Chansey. A uh, next turn will double protect here. Reuniclus is going to Skill Swap. What is What ability are you giving that poor thing? What ability did you just give it? Why doesn't it tell you when you Skill Swap? I hit the flash. Oh, I hit on Reuniclus. I'm like, I hit flash cannon on Chansey. Again, if we hit Chansey, it's dead. We hit Chansey. Oh my god, it's taking it. Yeah, the guard split from the car bank was too much. It was too much, Mink. I think I just attack here again. I'm just gonna attack here again, just because, uh, like, we don't. I don't want to give him an extra turn of setting up. He's going to Toxic on my Kamo. Oh, again, he can't Toxic the Heatran, so that's what we have to rely on here. And we have to move faster than he can so that our timer isn't below his. Oh, my God. People who use this tactic are the worst. I don't care. I don't care if I'm offending somebody out there. People who use this tactic are the worst, honestly. And it's a very unreal Oh, my God. I'm also not P uh, PP maxed on my Komo'o, so we can e pretty easily lose our close combats. Okay, so this Ryu Neeklis is probably going to want to... I mean, I don't know why I'd want to set up the Trick Room again, but I'm just going to KO it. I'm just going to get the Ryu Neeklis out of here at this point. Oh my god, it protected! Why? I love that this is the start of our return to BDC after... Oh my god, it's Defense Girl Chansey. Oh my god, this is so frustrating. I just wanted to play VGC. I've been absolutely swamped with work and so furious 
at my job. And then I come back to this. I come back to this. I just, like, I've wanted to strangle somebody all day. And this just makes me want to do it more. I just want to put my hands around Chansey's fat neck and choke it. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, Reuniclus is gone. So, if anything... I was going to say, if anything, we have more Pokemon. So, like, timer that way. But I don't think that will it'll come down to that for us. I guess uh, my best option at this point is, like, Poison Jab with Kamo'o. I can Poison Jab with Kamo'o to try and get the poison on Chansey. He has way more time than we do, so... And it sees McToss, so it can actually hurt my E-Train a little bit. This is actually the worst. I actually hate this more than, like, anything in my life. Okay, Kamoa hits the Poison Jab. Can we poison the Chansey, please? That's just shit for damage, and we don't poison it. We both hit! Now we finally hit, and we're hitting them left and right. Drop it, special defense. Shit. <laughs> I'm toss. Okay. Oh, my God. This is just awful. And Kamo'o faints now. I, I, like, I don't know what to say, guys. I'm going to protect Heatran because all this thing is doing is trying to hit my Heatran with seismic tosses because it can't stall me out any other way. Wow, we are just smacking the Chansey now. Oh my god, that does absolutely nothing. You know how I could have avoided a lot of these Toxics if I would have had Tapu Fini in? I completely forgot that we brought Tapu Fini. <sighs> like, is there even an overall match time anymore? I can't remember. Or if it, is it just like separate timers now? Wow, we are just smacking the Chansey now. Every turn, we're just hitting it. What ability does this fucking thing have? Overcoat? Magic Guard? Is it Magic Guard so you can't Toxic Stall? That's real dumb. I hate you a lot for that, actually. I actually hate you a lot for that. If that's the case. I could Muddy Water, but I'm just gonna Moonblast. I don't think we can win this if there's not a Battle Timer. I actually hate this chance. I actually, like, I, I hate everything about this battle right now, honestly. It's just so stupid. And Discord, you need to stop right now. You need to stop. Speaking of Discord, we have a Discord. The, your, the Our Discord is not the one that's making me mad right now. It's somebody else's. But if you guys want to join our Discord, you can go over there. We, we chat about things and talk about stuff. We're not super active right now, but we will get to be... And I won't have it going during battles videos. In fact, I'm gonna turn. I'm gonna exit out of Discord right now. Where is it? Where are you? Right there, ugly boy. All right. I honestly just want to quit this battle so we can get to another one. Cause this is absolute garbage. If it, like if I had taunt, we'd be fine. We'd be absolutely fine. I mean, they would have brought Sableye, but you know. Yeah, there's no overall battle timer, so there's no way we can win this. Because Chansey has way too many PPs, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna fucking deal with this anymore. Oh, I'm sorry, that's our first battle back, and it made me so mad. Like, I was just looking forward to playing Pokemon finally. I've been wanting to play for so long, and like, every day I come home, I just pass out, because I'm so goddamn tired from working 12 plus hours every damn day. And then this is what happens. And then this is what happens. And then this is what happens. This is what happens. Also, if you couldn't tell, my brain's a little fried. So, like, a lot of things I say don't make sense. I mean, I think I've made sense so far in this video. And we drop... 
Everything's making me so mad. My, <laughs> my, um, Ultra Luvier. My, uh, temper is very short now. But again, it's only the rest of this month, so if I can just survive this, we'll be Gucci. Okay, Tyranitar, I'm assuming Mega Charizard Y. Um, it could be X, though, because there is Tyranitar, but sometimes they run those weathers together. We also did Apufini, Cresselia, Aegislash, and Landorus. My Landorus is pretty neat here. Kangaskhan isn't terrible either. Ooh, I just started feeling a little sick. Hopefully it's not the case. But Kango Lando... I want to go Kamo'o just because that's like the whole point of this team. But I'm trying to think if it's worth bringing Kamo'o. I mean, we got close combat for the Tyranitar, Poison Jab for the Feeny, But it's, I don't think it KOs at plus one. I'm pretty sure it calc and doesn't. Heatran will be good for the Crest and the Aegislash. It'll just be the Landris we'll have to worry about. If that's the case, I might want to bring my own Feeny. My own Feeny does pretty good. I think we leave Kamoa behind here, unfortunately. We do have to start figuring that shit out, though. So let's go Let's go with that. No Kamoa this time. We also haven't brought Kaferi yet, which I think Kaferi's pretty good. Kaferi's one of those Pokemon where it's really good, and then I never bring it. And then when I do bring it, I win. And I'm like, why haven't I been using this? So that's that story, if you wanted to know it. Oofta, 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 oofta. All right. Let's see if we can get two more good battles after that garbage battle we just had. Just absolute garbage. All right, Tapu Fini and Aegislash is going to lead off for my opponent. Actually, a pretty good lead for my opponent just because of... Landris. I almost just want to Earthquake my own Kangaskhan. I don't, lo I don't love that idea, especially because Aegislash could have Wide Guard. But I'm going to fake out the Tapu Fini... I'm going to fake out the Feeny, and I'm actually going to U-turn the Feeny as well. Yeah, I like this play a lot more. So I'm going to... Uh, I'm faking out... Okay, he just actually actually withdraw. So, for Charizard, probably? No, for his own Landorus. Okay. This is fine. Because I can bring in my own Feeny now. I was going to bring in my Heatran... Um, and then Kangaskhan will just have to deal with the Tapu Fini, and then my Heatran could deal with the Aegislash. But now that Aegislash is gone, uh, I just bring in Fini. Here comes Mega Kang, old Mama, Mama Kang herself. Tapu Fini actually protects this turn, so no switching for my own Fini, unfortunately. Because I just doubled into you. Hmm. Now, what? Now what? I don't think... I'm pretty sure my opponent does... Okay. So here's my thing. I don't think my opponent's gonna uh, Earthquake here because there's really no need to. It only hits my King's Gun and its own Feeny. Uh, so I'm gonna bring in... Who did I just bring in? I brought in a Tapu Feeny for King's Gun because if anything, I think he superpowers there. And then I'm going to U-turn off the Landorus. Get, get a little, baby, little bit of baby chip. A little bit of baby chip on the Landorus. And then I... Uh, I bring in Heatran. I'm gonna withdraw the Feeny for Aegis, for Cress. I mean, not perfect, but could be worse. So we get the U-turn off. I am Jolly Choice Scarf Landris, so I will be out speeding other Landris. The worst we can do is speed tie, and then I bring in my Heatran. Oh wait, wait, wait! No, no, no. Is my opponent really earthquaking? Cause that, they brought in they brought in Cress. I'm gonna bring in Kangaskhan. Either way, if my opponent superpowered where Kangaskhan was, or if they earthquaked, yeah, they earthquaked. Okay, good thing I didn't. I good thing I stopped and thought about that because Heatran would have been dead. Kangaskhan won't like this, but it'll take it better for sure. Uh, Heatran will just faint to that because of how we have our Heatran built. Because typically I go Shuckaberry, but. Not right now, gangsters. Alright, so I'm just going to Muddy Water because I'll just KO the Landorus. And then I can just fake out the Cress. I was going to fake out the Landorus, but I'm pretty sure it won't stay in here. Especially because it thinks I might fake it out. So 
So we can just fake out Cresselia, stop it from doing anything dumb. And even if it doesn't, the uh, Earthquake doesn't KO either of my Pokemon. So as long as it, I guess as long as the Crest doesn't help in hand. Because if it helps in hands, I think it KOs both. Gonna actually withdraw the Landris, probably for Aegis. Yep, for Aegis Slash. That's fine. So we get to fake out on the Crest and then the Muddy Water on both. Yep. Connects with both Pokemon. Possibility of accuracy drops as well, which is really cool. Unfortunately, we don't get those. Um, I'm just going to go for another Muddy. I'm going to switch Kang out for Heatran. Switch Kang for Heatran. Because Landris does not want to switch in here for either of these two Pokemon because I am Muddy Watering. Which wouldn't be good to switch in on for my opponent. Especially because I'm... I am Choice Specs, Tapu Fini. I went with the flow. I went with the wave, as they say, and uh, joined joined them on the boat for, for the Choice Specs, Fini. It is Wide Guard, Aegis Slash. It's on Fort. But I can just spam this. And Crest goes for Psychic, I assume, on the Heatran. Yeah. Perfect switch in there. I almost sucker punch Aegis Slash, so good thing I didn't. I'm just going to keep going for Muddy Water. I do not care if that thing is um, is uh, Wide Guardian because I'm going to Earth Power the Aegis Slash. Going to actually withdraw the Aegis Slash for their own Feeny. So we know my opponent's entire team. I think they also know mine. Yeah, they know my entire team as well. We actually have two of the same Pokemon in Tapu Feeny and Landris. Alright, so Top of Fini connects with both Pokemon. Accuracy drop on the Cresselia. Trick Room possibly coming out from Cresselia. Or just another Psychic into my Fini. Who doesn't enjoy that. And we actually get a special defense drop, so I'm going to get Fini out of here. I'm going to get Fini out of here. It's still useful. Hey, man. you still useful. Actually, am I? No, I don't think I can. I can I'm not going to bring my Feeny out just because, um, uh, I don't want anything taking a Muddy Water. So I'm going to protect my Heatran, see if we can get an extra turn out of this. My Tapu Feeny does go first, the so possibility of an accuracy drop on the opposing Feeny. I think we KO the Crest? Oh, just miss out on it. We do get another accuracy drop on the Cresselia. Also one on the top of Fini, so making Muddy Water less accurate. And then we see a stupid berry from the Cresselia. Gonna be a 50% berry. Ogwab. We see Calm Mind come out from top of Fini, so... I could have just Heat Wave there. With my boy. With my boy Heatrin. We're gonna see Psychic, uh, presumably. Trick Room actually comes out from Cresselia. I don't like that. Do not enjoy that. I, we just go for those actually drops with muddy water and I'm gonna go flash can on the Feeny because if we can get rid of Feeny that'd be really neat but Cresselia is gonna go for psychic it does still connect that should KO my Feeny now it's unfortunate can we get uh, miss yeah those act that actually drop coming through to save our Heatran for another turn and the flash cannon be doing decent damage. Oh my god! Why do all these things have berries? I hate this game. 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 I just want to play Pokemon, but everybody has these bulky ass Pokemon. It's just like, get out of here with that shit. Alright, so I bring in Kang because I can't bring in my other. Wait, yeah, I can't bring in Landers at this point. I'm just gonna fake out the Tapu Fini. I'm going to Heat Wave because if Tapu Fini has Protect, it's going for it at this point. Actually, you're going to just withdraw for Aegis Slash. He's going to be coming in on a Heat Wave. Probably expecting another Flash Cannon. We're going to see Psychic, though, on to Kangaskhan. Is Crest still hitting all of its moves, even at minus two? Heat Wave does connect with both Pokemon. And we do KO the Aegis Slash. Whooshing. 
Tapu Fini did lose its uh, special attack and special defense increase, which is pretty neat. And it is going to come back in as well. I see the Misty Surge be set up. Um, and it does now have its accuracy back. I'm just going to sucker punch the crest because it's just been going for uh, psychics this whole game. So I assume it continues to do such. Oh, never mind. It's ally switching. I, I knew we'd run into that at some point, and here it is right now. We do hit the Feeny with the Sucker Punch, though. It does decent damage for hitting the Feeny. Muddy Water. Kangaskhan does avoid. It does hit Heatran. Are we able to live because it's not boosted? We are. And we don't keep our accuracy. Flash Cannon will connect with the Cresselia. Does this KO? It does. I don't know that I really wanted it to at this point. Just because now Landris is coming in. And I think Trick Room's over this turn. I can't remember. I cannot remember. It, although it could be... I, I don't think it's a Trick Room Landris. Just because I think this this team isn't made to be like... Ooh, I'm a Trick Room team. Uh, but Trick Room is still up for one more turn. Uh, so what I can do is just double edge the Feeny, I guess. And... Heat wave, I guess. I, I like I don't know. I don't know what speed stats are going on for my opponent. Both my Pokemon are fairly fast. Feeny does muddy water, hits both Pokemon, that should KO both my Pokemon, unfortunately. And now I have to rely on Rock Slide flinches for the rest of the game. Which is lovely. Which is just lovely. And my we see my opponent also going for rock slides, so. Apparently that was the same idea they had. Because I assume they might be choice in some fashion. I almost soft reset 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 for the shiny Landris. But I I just wanted to get this Landris. I just wanted the Landris so I could actually get this these games underway, you know? Maybe I'll do that in Ultra Sun. We'll see. I never was really a fan of Shiny Landris, but in the three D models I like them a little more. Tapu Fiji is going to protect here. Probably trying to see what I'm going to do. Or get more damage off. I don't know. Honestly, don't know. Rockside does decent damage to the opponent's landers. Can we flinch? No flinch. Can you miss? Yeah! Alright, we just need a lot of flinches, a lot of misses. Let's go, let's go, let's go. If I somehow pull this out, I'll be more ecstatic than I ever have been. Otherwise, I've just given up at this point, to be honest. Both Pokemon under 50%. We do flinch Landris. Feeny does not, unfortunately, flinch. It does get the money water off. Please don't get an accuracy drop, and please live. Oh, we live. But we get the fucking accuracy drop. We just can't get a break. We just can't get a break. We just can't get a break. Alright, alright, alright. Tapu Fini's gonna protect, obviously. Wasting more of my rock slides, you know the usual. Can we connect with the Landris and flinch it? We do connect with the Landris, surprisingly enough. And we flinch it! I think it's a roll. It might be a roll for K on this Landris. There's a chance where there's a rock slide, there's a way, kids, but we are at one, minus one accuracy. I don't expect to pull this out. Holy shit, we hit both of them. We KO the Lando. Can we flinch the Feeny? Ooga Chaka. Ooga Chaka. Nope. <laughs> nope, no flinch from the Feeny. And of course, gonna go for that uh, uh, guaranteed Moon Blast. So we almost pulled it out there, but on Fort, on Fort, we didn't have the power of the flinch on our side. We had a few flinches. We had more flinches than we deserved, to be honest. But. <sighs> What can you do? We're going to go for one... Oh my god, it's already 30 minutes. That stupid stall team made it so long. We're doing one more, guys. Because I want to get a win. Even if we're at the bottom of the ladder, I still want to win one game to make me feel okay about my life in general. Oh my god, it's already 11 o'clock and I work at 5 in the morning. Mm -hmm. I love my life. It's so freaking neat. I want to listen to the Alter Recon Squad. 
see, well, we're still getting super high rated players for being this low on the ladder though. So if we do win, we do bump up pretty high. Oh, okay. This is a Mega Blaziken, presumably, possibly just normal. I assume Mega though. Nido King, Mimikyu, Araquanid, Alolan Ninetales, and Celesteela. A very interesting team for being such a high rating. Of course, I've been away from VGC for so long, I don't know what's good anymore. Well, I know what's, like, the common stuff, but, like, I don't know what's making its way downtown, you know. I do like Heatran. Heatran's real nice against the majority of the team. It doesn't like Araquanid, Blaziken, or Needle King. It's, it's a 50-50 on the Heatran, honestly. Come on, oh, what do you do, oh? Mm, not a ton, honestly. You get walled pretty hard by the Celestella, but we also have the Heatran. Um, Feeny will be decent, I guess. Kang will be good. We could go Fairy, though. Does that mean no Lando? That does make us really weak to Heat, uh, not Heatran, uh, Nido King. Let's just go Kangaskhan, Kamo, Heatran, Lando. Make a note, I did want to use Clefairy here. I did want to use Clefairy. I just think the rest of the team was a little more important than Clefairy. That's the biggest thing with Clefairy. Is it does really help, like, your Komo'o. It helps everybody on the team, honestly. But then it, like, you might be missing a key component. So, I don't know. Alright, we have Ninetales Araquanid starting off. So, Araquanid can do Wide Guard shenanigans. Ninetales can do... Other shenanigans. Yeah, like, I, I definitely don't want to just go for Clang or Soul Blaze here. Because if the Raquinid has Wide Guard, then it just gets stopped and we absolutely lose our Z-move. So I'm just going to fake out the Ninetales and Poison Jab. I'll just fake out Ninetales and Poison Jab. Because I don't want to get Wide Guarded and then not have my Z-move go off. And then my Kamo'o just sitting here like a fool. Alright, so here comes Mega King. We do get the fake out off. I don't think he wide guarded because I think that goes before fake out. I can't remember though. Nope, there's the wide guard. I knew it, you fool. You silly, silly boy. We get the poison jab into the nine tails, which will KO it. And this is why I run poison jab, kids. That's why I run Poison Jab, because I don't want to be walled by fairies. Unfortunately, we are walled by Celesteela, but we have other ways to deal with that. <clears throat> so, Raquinid wasted turn, which I love to see. And now I can, I'm pretty sure I can just double edge, and that might just KO it. See, Blaziken come in, which I don't enjoy seeing. Do I go for it now? Because I think... Now that I saw it, I think he's gonna, they're going to be like, oh, he's not going to go for it. So I'm going to Clangorous. I'm going to Clangorous on him. And hope against hope. Blaziken is going to Mega Evolve here. I don't know Mega Blaziken's base speed. I know normal Blaziken's base speed is lower than Mega King's, but I don't know if Mega Blaziken's is or not. Okay, no protects, and Kangaskhan does outspeed. So, perfect. Is this KO? Does not, but Clang Your Soul Blaze will. And Blaze King does go for a low kick, I assume, on Kang. Actually, on Kamo. Oh, so we're going to actually take that. And now we get the plus one in our speed. I mean, so does Blaze again, so it's still going to outspeed us. I didn't do the dance, sorry. Was... Oh, shoot, dang! Change, change, change! <laughs> oh, I almost missed it again. Sorry, guys. Uh, I will have the the layout for the next video, so you can actually still kind of see it. I mean, I'm sure you guys know what it looks like by now. It still takes forever. He looks like an idiot doing the whole time. I do like the fist pump, though. Fist bump. By the way, at some point, we are going to use the Steelium Z on a team, because I like the dance for it. Where they go, like, clang, clang, boom. It actually does a ton to Blaziken. I'll let you guys come back and see how much it did here. Look at that. That did over 50% to Blaziken. That's crazy. And the Araquanid's going to faint. 
Um, after hail, we might be able to sucker punch Blaze again. I'm gonna see the speed boost, which is gonna make Blaze again faster than the both Kangaskhan and Komo'o. So this would be a nice instance where we could have Clefairy, but the turn one wouldn't have worked out as well as it did. I'm gonna see Nido King come out here. Um, that is problematic as well. What do I have in the back? Heatran? Heatran and Lando Scrando. I'm going to Sucker Punch Blaziken, and I'm going to actually protect Kamo'o here. I don't know if this is Choice Scarf uh, Needle King either, but I'm going to protect Kamo'o because it can't touch the Needle King, unfortunately. I mean, we could, uh, we could Clanging Scales it, but... Okay, that's not going to KO, unfortunately, and I don't think Hale gets it either. Blaziken is going to low kick into the Kangaskhan this time. Unfort. Unfort. And then the Nido King is going to go for Ice Beam. If that is Choice Scarf Nido King, we're in a little bit of a picky poo. Let's see the speed boost on the Blaziken once again. Either have Landris or Heatran here. I'm going to bring in Heatran. Oh. <laughs> My throat just did a little weird thing. I'm actually going to switch uh, Heatran for Landris here. Well, I can just protect if I think that's the case. Yeah, that, this is this is a silly idea. All right, protect the Heatran because the Blaziken will go down no matter what this turn. And then I'm gonna clanging scales. If this Needle King is choice, it won't be able to hurt my Heatran now, which is cool. We're gonna see low kick into the Komo'o, so the Needle King must not be choice then. Yeah, it's not choice. It must be Life Orb then. So, Blaziken should go down to Hail. Yes. Okay. So, that should be game, then. That should be game, then. And I could just Earthquake here, because... Whichever way you slice it, he trans fainting at some point. My only concern is that Needle King doesn't faint to an Earthquake, and then I kill myself and he kills me, too. My only concern, I guess. Like I was gonna say, last last turn I could have switched in my Kamo'o. Like I have to earthquake here, right? I can't do anything else, unfortunately. Don't protect. Oh, he's just gonna forfeit. Ooh, that could have been bad if we didn't KO there, because I am jolly, so I don't know that that would have KO'd, guaranteed or not. And that last game, fortunately, was pretty fast, so we didn't go too much later than we could have. Oh, pulled my ear plug out. But it doesn't matter, because now we're at the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Again, if you do want to try the team out for yourself, link will be in the description below for the pay spin and the QR code. I know I didn't show it off as well as I could have, but hey, you gotta give me a break. I'm coming back into this now. Um... If you, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to like and subscribe. Uh, next time, hopefully I won't be as exhausted. I can't guarantee that because, again, I'm not going to get a day off till Christmas Day. And it's already been, uh, today was the 15th day in a row. So about 12 more days and then maybe I get a day off, but we'll see. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for joining us. If you have suggestions for teams, leave them down in the comment section below. And we'll see you guys next time. Stay sharp, everyone.